let's have some beer. Who oh, what? Be going down, people of the world. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another beer review. My name, still, currently, Red No Beard, Red Stash, whatever you want to call me. I don't care. And for the beer of the today, we have got a bottle of Candle Burner Coffee IPA by the Wellington Brewery out of Guelph, Ontario, coming in at 6.2% ABV. Out of the same pack that that Ice Eater IPA that was uh, drank not that long ago was from, so um, wanted to kind of get into this one relatively quickly. There's no freaking date. I, the, the four pack had a best before date on it, I believe, which is not something that you want to see on a pack containing IPAs. I want to see a goddamn brewed on, bottled on, something along those lines. And I'm not the only one. A lot of people want to see that shit. But some breweries are just like, no, let's let's keep it in this range so that it can stay on the shelves. Like last night, I was working in Sudbury, a town about an hour east of me, city, sorry, three times the size of North Bay. But while I was, anytime I'm there and I have the time, I stop in at the LCBO, and I still stopped in stepped after after that, stopped in at the LCBO and bought a few beers, and. Driftwood Brewing out of somewhere in BC. I want to see Vancouver, Victoria. Their Fat Tug IPA usually doesn't sit around too long. So I saw one of those, couldn't find a date, figured it's Fat Tug, it should be fine. Brought it home and it was the most malty, disgusting mess I've had in quite some time. I took two drinks and drain poured the rest. Not happy about that at all. But regardless, let's see if this... I don't think I've had a coffee IPA before, so... Maybe even if it's bad, I'll still enjoy it. <sighs> Just see that bottle cap, cool little, oh, the Wellington, the welly, as it were. I wear those when I work. Let's crack it open. And let's see. What frickin' time. I want to say the last like four or five tosses I've done have been horrible failures. Let's see what we got. For some reason, coffee makes me think dark beer, but this is obviously not dark beer. Thumbnail. A decent overall appearance to it, a little bit hazy, not crazy hazy. Carbonation on the side there and stuff and things. Okay, there's like a weird coffee chocolatey aroma. It smells like coffee beans that don't smell right. I don't know what to say about that smell. It doesn't smell great. But hey, sour beers generally don't smell smell great. And they, they, they're some of the best beers I've had. So let's give this a shot. God damn it. That is all kinds of really, really fucking weird. It's not bad. The coffee flavor is definitely there and almost like takes over any initial hop presence that the beer might have. And then it just lingers. Like right now my mouth is just, it's like I was chewing a coffee bean. It's the only thing I can really equate coffee to, because I don't drink coffee myself, I'm not a fan, but I don't mind occasionally chewing on a coffee bean, as weird as that might sound. And this has that, and I want to say most coffee beers are generally made by like aging the beer or something the beer with coffee beans, so I feel like my experience in coffee Kind of works okay with beer. This isn't terrible. I need to drink more of it to really kind of figure things out. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. I 
Like I said, it starts out with that kind of coffee hit and then like it melds a little bit. The coffee and the maltiness of the beer become some kind of cool, interesting coffee caramel, coffee mel, carafe flavor in my mouth. It's actually quite nice. I don't I don't I don't mind this. This is this is pretty tasty, actually. Surprisingly. It's really, really, really fucking weird. But but pretty okay. I wanna say I'm enjoying this more than the Ice Eater one. Ice Eater was just it was weird. The hop they used, I can't recall what it was. The bottle's still there somewhere in the pile of bottles. But, yeah, didn't really super work for me. This one here, it is. Like I said, I can't, oh, well, there is some kind of freaking thing here. Best before January. So, that would lead me to believe. <sighs> A lot of breweries overseas do like a 12 month best before date, but a decent number of Ontario ones give it a six month. So, <gasps> excuse me. That would make that, what? Maybe January and then December, November, October, September, August. So, this is reasonably old. But surprise, I want to say the coffee flavors may be saving it, even though I'm surprised. Coffee flavor is something that, from what I know, tends to fade. I don't know. WellingtonBrewery.ca. We'll bring it to WellingtonBrewery.ca. This, check the date if you buy some. It's my old new advice. I've had that IPA, I don't want to say about four months old or so, and that, it, you want it like two. Give that one a two. I don't know. Again, it's my opinion. Like, Marcel, my best friend. He bitches at me all the time. Calls me a date Nazi. I don't know. Like a grammar Nazi. But uh, he, he likes an old IPA. I don't know. Myself? D depends. Sometimes the maltiness becomes okay. But like I said earlier this evening... I think yeah, it was this evening. Yeah, it was. I uh, drain poured 90% of a freaking fat tug because it was old and gross. What's funny is Marcel's one of his favorite beers. He probably would have loved that. So, sorry, dude. Brewed with Ethiopian Sidamo coffee from Planet Bean, this unique beer balances enticing cold brew coffee notes with a punch of hops. Pale golden color with slight earth and subtle roast flavors blending perfectly with notes of grapefruit pith and a hint of blueberry in the finish. Uh, don't think so. This beer brings two of our favorite things together. Cheers to everyone burning the candle at both ends. Water, barley, malt, wheat, malt, coffee, hops, and brewer's yeast are the ingredients. The artwork is by Nathan Sham... Champagnero. It's. I don't know. I just call that a label. I don't know if I call that artwork. It's not. It's not bad. It's a cool design for a label. I like it. It's like a bunch of melting wax. But like, if it's supposed to be that, like the candle melted through, where's all the drip wax from this? And this one over here, huh? Where'd it go? It's a different color than this up here and this down here. So if this dripped down, you'd see it somewhere. Where'd it go? Huh? Ah! That's right. I'm being unnecessarily critical. Because I watch too much CinemaSins or something. I eat a decent number of blueberries every year when blueberry season comes around. And I'm not really getting any kind of blueberry flavor. But again, like I said, this is... I'd like to try this one fresh. 
like within a month of being put in that bottle. And that's a thing too, like I keep them in the fridge so they're not subjected to that much light, except when the door's open. But, I don't know, you don't put your shit in bottles. Cans, I understand that the tariffs and stuff making cans, but these have always been the way that Wellington has sold these particular four packs. And I wanna say, while it is like a box, so it's covered up, there's like holes in the box so you can see the beer. So Light is still able to get in there and do what Light does to beer. New Ontario made a four pack thing of their pop top bottles a while back. And a couple of them were in clear bottles, but it was like the thing was bottled and then right away put into this cardboard box that was like no light was getting in that box. So it was a bit more okay. Yeah, like I'm still enjoying this. I know I'm being all kinds of critical and bitchy and stuff, but I just, I would really like to try this fresh and see what maybe I'm missing out on kind of thing. Are you freaking kidding me? 12 minutes of recording time right now. Freaking break. It's not bad. Like the... It tastes, I guess, more like just a coffee infused not IPA kind of like now that I've gotten into it and pretty much done there's really not any IPA left in the flavor it still tastes okay though which is nice a couple more months and it would probably just be all malt like the coffee would eventually I assume fade rating wise not really giving this uh, older bottle consideration. 3.52 on untap with 563 ratings. Ratings. 3.65 out of 5 on rape beer. Sorry, beer advocate with six ratings. Can't talk apparently. 3.26 out of 5 on beer on rape beer. Wow, I was gonna say beer advocate that time. With four ratings overall and. Those four ratings are a 3.5, a 3.4, a 3.4, and a 4.0. Nothing below a 3.4. Yet somehow that averages out to a 3.26. Right beer, you are mentally ill in the head. Fix your shit. My god. Drink number last. Wellington. Brewery. Your candle burner coffee IPA. That like the four month old mark. It's in the seven range. It's not bad. Like ingredients are there. I'm knocking, it would have been like 7.5, knocking half off for your absence of a brood on date. I hate best before dates. They can all go to hell. A little bit. If you had the beer, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. So we can kind of talk about it and stuff and things. Because that's going to do it for this particular beer review. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up button in its face. Want to see more? Smack the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you're made aware when new videos are released. And I go live with the video games. And I'll be back with something along the lines of this pretty freaking soon. Peace out. I'm gonna try these. But they don't stay on the website long enough for me to talk about them. They're a range of, I believe, barrel aged stouts. They sound pretty cool. And that's what I'm uh, working on right now.